Hi there, welcome back. This is a sequel to my previous video, DIY Night Vision. If you haven't seen the first part, click this link and you'll be up to speed on the whole project. A switch on the IR scope was left unexplained, namely this one. I wanted to add a DVR to the rig. So in this video I build a uh, housing for a DVR that will go with the uh, IR scope. The DVR is super light and convenient, but the uh, buttons are so tiny you can't find them in the dark. Or are really impractical if you got sausage fingers like I do. And I like to be able to use all of the DVR's features at some point. And this housing will be both mobile and more sturdy, for my purposes that is. Here are the parts that you need for this build. First the most obvious one, a DVR. A TF male micro SD extension cable adapter. This one is about 12 centimeters long. I got this because it's a pain in the ass to access the uh, SD card slot on this DVR. A 2 amp DC to DC buck step down converter. It'll take 5 to 24 volts and it has uh, adjustable output. By using this converter you'll be able to run the DVR for multiple power sources and you don't have to worry about blowing out the DVR. Three normally open momentary push switches. A small on off rocker switch. A fuse holder is the uh, 5 by 20 millimeter type. A uh, 200 milliamp fuse. A 1 watt 4V7 Zener diode. A 4 pin 3.5 millimeter jack socket, another 3.5 millimeter jack socket. As long as it has two pins, you're good to go. Uh, this one goes into my previous build, the IR scope. A uh, 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter male DC plug cable, preferably with a uh, 90 degree bend on it. Same goes for this male RCA plug, and for this 3.5 jack plug. This one here is optional. It's a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter to USB adapter. I thought it might come in handy if you uh, want to run the DVR from, let's say, a phone charger. If you want to use the video out, audio in and out, you can get a 3.5 jack to 3 RCA female adapter cable. And of course the actual housing that is made from a 3 millimeter acrylic sheet and glued together with uh, acrylic glue, drilled and painted. And here are the specs of the housing. Hit pause and grab a screenshot of the schematics if you need it. Let's assemble this thing. Here's everything soldered and screwed in place. Push the micro SD adapter into its slot in the housing wall. This one is a nice and tight fit so there's no need for any glue. Gently bend the adapter cable and push it into the card slot in the DVR. Attach the main cables to the DVR. And the cables for the three menu buttons. A piece of double sided tape will keep the DVR in its place. Make sure the DVR's LED and the uh, window in the housing cover lines up perfectly. Then attach the DVR and tuck in the cables. Screw down the lid with four screws and test it out. The 
you don't want to have red light visible in the dark, you can just add a piece of tape to the window or attach the thing to the scope like I did. You'll see that in a bit. And here it is in all its glory. This is how much I had to cough up with in order to make this thing. And for you people overseas. I had an elastic band left over from uh, don't know what and it worked perfectly for this project. Just slip the housing under the band so that the band covers up the window in the lid. Then plug in the power, the video in and the video out cables. Here are the schematics of the uh, IR scope from my previous video. This is how the uh, 3.5 jack socket connects to the uh, self-locking on and off switch that switches channels between uh, scope view and DVR view. Let's fire this bad boy up! So this is the normal scope view using channel 1 on the monitor. And by pushing this it will flip to channel 2, which is what you see through the uh, DVR. Let's quickly sip through the uh, menu on this thing. It's convenient to be able to change settings on the DVR by just looking through the scope. By holding the upper button to the DVR, it switches to play mode, where you can check your recordings on the spot. The lower red button is the uh, record button. You can either watch it record like this, or switch back to uh, scope mode if the blinking disturbs your shooting. Here is the same guesstimation I did in the first part of this build. By using this calculation the whole thing should run for about 71 minutes, that is until the uh, battery reaches 10.8 volts. And as promised, here's the actual test. I ran the scope and the DVR continuously until the battery hit 10.8 volts. The DVR was recording the whole time as well. Today hooks. If you don't like watching numbers run, you can skip to the end.
so there you have it it ran for 90 minutes I was checking the battery every 5 minutes and it seemed to be dropping by 0.1 volts every 5 minutes this was obviously done indoors so uh, who knows how long it will run out in the cold but 90 minutes of continuous recording is good enough for me I'll, I'll be shooting short clips anyway ladies and gentlemen who watch the time lapse please click the correct answer now This wraps up this project, hope you enjoyed it and see you on the next one.